Actually, I wonder what this symbol means. Also, apparently, uh, our party's called Heathen Hell, maybe? <laughs> Lots of food, lots of shovels, lots of this stuff. Gonna need some blood. Ah, uh, my blood's kind of running low. That's not good. <laughs> it's such an important thing. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Uh, teal pumpkin means that you give out non-food treats. That's interesting. That's a clever idea. Even the fiercest beast will lay down when it is not eaten. Steal their food. Wait, what? <laughs> the fiercest beast will lay down when it has not eaten. Steal their food. I don't know if that's good advice. That sounds like bad advice. Because doesn't that imply that it's had food up until you've stole it? Oh. Cassie, you got the craving for the bloods. Um, and apparently we also knocked that those skulls over. We <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> oh. Alright, we're in the pig dungeon. Kind of hoping for a kill. I kind of like Abomination a lot, but I still haven't quite hit like a team where I can really like uh, roll with it. This hasn't quite happened yet. So. <sighs> hmm. I could probably do this. There. Two down. That's good. That's that's good thinking. Good on them. Cause like that is that is a really big deal. It definitely, you know, it takes a lot of the fun out of Halloween if you're like allergic to like peanut butter or something. You know. Uh, I remember, uh, I had a friend in elementary that was allergic to peanut butter, so, elementary school, so. It, uh, yeah. Not much fun. Wow, critical stone, don't outdo yourself. <laughs> Plus one crit for negative one speed. Oh boy. So here's here's my thing with peanut butter. Um, I can eat peanut butter, but if I eat enough peanuts, I start getting a little bit like wheezy, where it's just like, wow, it sure is hard to breathe today. I wonder why. And then it's like, all oh, right, I ate like all these M and M's, <laughs> all these peanut M and M's. I love peanut M and M's. So it's it's like, well, I got I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm going to work on this resistance to peanuts. <laughs> it's like, 
I wouldn't call it an allergy per se, but it's like maybe a little bit, just a touch of one. Hmm. Eh, I tried. I tried now, pig is vomiting on us. Great. Day ruined. <laughs> like, killing Dracula doesn't mean anything if the pig vomits on you. Um, yeah, the choice is obvious. Yeah, that works. That works. Well, on the plus side, too, is, like, if you have a plastic pumpkin, it's not going to, like, rot or, you know, that sort of stuff. It's not gonna, like, get sloppy before Halloween. I mean, it probably wouldn't in, like, five days, but you never know. <laughs> um, might as well just whip this guy in the face. My chain versus his chains. Um... It's really weird. It doesn't feel... I was just supposed to say, it doesn't feel like Friday. That's because it's not Friday. It's Thursday. <laughs> I was just thinking, I was like, man, it's so weird. It felt like such a short week. <laughs> uh, see, like, okay, so, like, I, I had everything wrote down on my schedule here. Like, I had everything figured out that, like, uh, Mario Odyssey was going to be coming out on Saturday. Saturday was the 27th, so it was going to be coming out Saturday, so I'd be streaming it Saturday. And then I found out, like, literally this morning that, like, the 27th is Friday, not Saturday. <laughs> so my whole schedule has just been, like, completely thrown out of whack. Oh, that works, that works. Kids will enjoy that stuff. And power. Hmm. Okay. There. Okay. Oh yeah, we got a key to that. Nice. Uh, I wonder why I put question marks under those. That's strange. Only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Great. Um, sure. This is what we're doing, I guess. Goodbye, critical charm. Oh, a pile of mysterious scrolls. We should rummage through them. Scrolls. Uh, burn them to purge a negative quark. So that's what we'll do, I guess. What is a negative quark I can purge? Deviant tastes. He's not allowed to visit the broth <laughs> for reasons best left uh, to discretion. Um, I'd say that's probably not worth getting rid of. It's probably fine. In town, we'll never drink, that's fine. We'll not take part in prayer activities in town after certain... Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. Looks like it's... Look, looks like you're gonna probably be burning the scrolls, guys. Because you got a lazy eye, and you're fascinated by corpses, and you take negative 10% damage if it's dark. Oh, this is a really bad one, though. Uh, plus 15 stress versus uh, Eldritch. Also fascinated by corpses. Um, I'd actually say that one's probably worse. So I'm going to see if we can cure one of those. Oh, okay, necromania cured. Yeah, exactly. Ain't nothing wrong with that. What this game going on about? What are they trying to say? Sounds a little bit judgmental to me. Oh, <laughs> and her cork right now is she wants blood. High Roller's blood. 
Um, okay. Um, what should I do here? Let's get rid of this guy. I was kind of hoping that would work. <sighs> Might as well. What do these things do anyways? Okay, they just cause uh, blight. Mm, could be worse. Easy. Oh god, we need blood really badly. Great. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Take all that stuff. Oh. Oh, Skaz is fascinated by this pile of bones. Has to check it out. Should've known better. Just knock them over. Mint mass. Food stuff crate. What's a food stuff crate do? Food stuff crate. Nothing. We just oh, it's it's our quest item. That's what it is. Yeah, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to make some room. Uh oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh god, we're surprised by the crimson. Oh, this is never good. Never good. Almost always bad. Um. Do I want to transform and try and destroy them? It might be worth it. This is a guaranteed kill, this isn't. Attention to go go, baby! Oh, God. Beautiful Joe, so good. Okay, at least we're in okay shape right now for not. Oh, no, please. Oh, wait, she already has the Crimson Curse. Good, yes, attack her more. <laughs> Okay, we want, um, yes, this. There, perfect. One, two, three. Um, and we're definitely not stunning this thing. It's not too often you get the Crimson Curse from them, so maybe I'll heal. Or maybe I won't. Thanks, game. Um... It is good. I do like Darkest Dungeon a lot. Um... I was really, like, pushed away by all the people complaining about it, but now that I've played it, it's like... Um, it's pretty good. I. I mean, there's moments where the game, like, gets you, but it's like, as long as you just kind of take it in stride, it's not that bad. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of fun tools in this game. There's, like, and the thing is, is, like, each party that you make can feel, like, dramatically different, but you can still find, like, just the right, like, uh, dynamic in it to make it work. It's, it's very satisfying. I've been thoroughly enjoying the game. I'll probably be playing well into November, just because it's, uh, it's very fun. Very fun, I'm quite into it. The only thing that, like, caused me to take a break from it was because I knew I had to get, uh, Castlevania done up.
About my only complaint with the game is I kind of wish they had fast move for like areas that you've already cleared. I think that would be maybe a nice touch. Maybe they do have it, I just don't know the input, but... Okay, go up this way. Free torch. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I always think the uh, narrator is gonna say staunch the flow of blood. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and then all we can picture is somebody like trying to like trying to stop the bleeding by cramming like gold coins into the wound. <laughs> it's like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, it probably doesn't work so well. Oh, it's a weird skin tapestry. Gross. We better investigate. Uh, holy water. Oh, it's actually a debuff if you use the thing on it. That's really strange. So I guess we'll just like slam our hand into it or whatever we're doing with it. <laughs> hmm. High five that skin tapestry. <laughs> of course. Maybe. I don't know. Is, like, I actually don't know. Can you get poisoned from gold? feels like that might be a thing. No, no you can't because you can eat gold. I mean, you wouldn't maybe want to eat a lot of it, but uh, I mean, they put it on food, right? <laughs> I mean, maybe that's not enough reason. Maybe you can still get poisoned by it. I don't know, but... Hmm. I know nothing of this subject. That is basically what I'm trying to convey. But they do put gold on food. I know that much. Like... If you have, like, ridiculous amounts of cash and want to eat metal on your food. <laughs> yeah, it turns to skin blue. I've, I've read things on that before, too. It's, it's an interesting uh, notion. I, I mean, I don't know any of the science behind it. I, gu I guess maybe the idea is, like, silver is, um... I forget what it's called. Antiseptic? Or... That's not correct. But it's, like, diseases can't stick to silver, so it's, like... Um... So I guess maybe the idea is, like, oh, if you ingest it, diseases won't stick to your insides? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Clearly, if you're eating, like, a lot of silver, there's, like, maybe a jump in logic somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, you can be allergic to gold. In my talk farm, gold is not toxic, as often as especially foods and drinks. Ooh, I don't know if I'd want to drink gold. That, that sounds strange. Um, not that it would be much different than eating gold. I don't know why there's really much of a difference there, but it sounds... Sounds strange. Oh, okay, it's bad for your liver and kidneys, which... Shouldn't be too surprising, because it's like, what are those organs meant for? Filtering? Filtering, like, gold probably isn't, like, something that your body's typically made to do. Pretty much. Now all I can think about is, like, those stories of, like, people that, like, eat metal and, like, it's, like, the guy that ate, like, a whole airplane worth of metal and it's, like, like, how's that work? Like, clearly that shouldn't be good for you. Or he, like, ate a whole bike or something. 
Probably not an airplane. An airplane's pretty big. Actually, maybe he did. I gotta look this up. <laughs> My Google search is literally guy eats airplane. <laughs> no, oh god, it's true. He actually did. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, he did eat a whole airplane. I mean, obviously not at once, but yeah. He ate a Cessna 150. And he's eaten 18 bicycles. <laughs> 18 bicycles, 15 shopping carts, 7 televisions, 6 chandeliers, 2 beds, 1 pair of skis, 1 Cessna aircraft, 1 waterbed, and 1 coffin. Like, there's no metal in a coffin. Like, what? Why? Apparently the plane took two years to eat between 1978 and 1980. This is clearly why they made, like, the food pyramid. They're like, we gotta, we gotta do something. People are eating airplanes! <laughs> oh god. Um... Sorry, I know, like, I should be playing the game, but, like, this is... It's like... I gotta read this over again. Oh. He, he like, only lived to be 57. That's... That's unfortunate. I mean, I feel like that's actually kind of a long life for somebody that's eaten an airplane, but, you know. <laughs> this, this is important, exactly. It's like, hold up, guys. This is important. <laughs> More important than what Darkest Dungeon could ever be. <laughs> um. Wait. Okay, hold up, hold up. I gotta catch up with the chat here. Um. <laughs> Who hasn't? Tom Cruise, uh, bronze plate. Auction offers 70,000. Well, that's. that's a t that just seems like par for the course for Tom Cruise, really. Yeah, huh. Destroyed. It's, it's so... This is like a weird subject, but it's like, you know, sometimes I think about the fact that like... People think of like... Or at least like... You'd think of like movie stars as being like, um... Like, I guess, like, uh, how to put it, like, socially, like, um, I want to say, like, average, you know what I mean? Like, they should, you'd think of them as being, like, not wild and crazy, but there's so many that are. <laughs> like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say here, but it's like, you read up on someone and it's like, oh, wow, that's really weird. It's, it's strange. I didn't expect this from this person. Especially, like, someone like Tom Cruise, who, like, he's been in so many movies that you just have this, like, mental image of, like, probably how he is. And then he's, like, completely, like, completely batshit crazy. And it's like, oh, wow, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Guess we're pretty much good. Okay. Well, anyways, continuing on. Yeah, cause like another another like Tom Cruise thing was like, didn't he like eat like the placenta of like? That was that was like another big Tom Cruise thing. He's like, yeah, cook that placenta up, and then he ate it, and it's like, oh, this is this is a thing you do. I see. Like, I don't know, maybe that's, like... Yeah, we did! This is a topic that's come up again. You're right. Oh, God. Yes, let's fight more Crimson Curse. Oh, half my party isn't cursed, which means that I need to be, like, extra careful. Uh...
Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that too. Like... I don't know, maybe it's like... I guess? Like... Maybe, maybe I'm missing like the... Maybe I'm missing like some pieces here, but it's like... Isn't that like typically like the mother's thing? Like... I guess like fathers can get that too, but it's like, is eating a plus eating the placenta going to really like what's the like logic here? <laughs> like how does this how do these things connect? I don't understand. <laughs> keeping <laughs> keep I've only heard about it keeping youthful skin. Now all I can imagine is just like taking a placenta and just like rubbing it on your face. It's like Yes, my skin will be so youthful. <laughs> oh my god. This is... <laughs> Darkest Dungeon brings up the, like, the weirdest conversations. <laughs> oh, they turn it into a powder? Really? See, like... I've heard that it was, like, like on a dinner plate. Like, it's cooked. Like, there's recipes for cooked placenta. Uh, true, yeah. Well, I mean, like... <laughs> Goop it up, you cowards! <laughs> like... Like, the thing is, is it's like... I mean, animals do that, but animals do all kinds of things. Like, I mean, most animals, like, eat their own poop so that they can't be tracked. So it's like... People probably shouldn't do that. Like, inspiration and improvement. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Good. Okay. Got rid of him. Last thing I need is to fight like three more mosquitoes. Uh, okay. Good. All right. It's a crimson curse. It's less bad if they already have the Crimson Curse. Um. Oh, jeez. Uh, our uh, Skaz here is kind of um, in rough shape. I think that's like... I mean... No, I, I can't speak on this matter. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't know if that's possible, but... No, it's definitely possible. <laughs> Hu humans are too good to not be able to collect their own asses. We're, we're too good at, like, inventing a way. If there's a will, there's a way. Hmm, I want these, I want this. But it's like I don't have room. I kind of want these gems too. Maybe I'll just like toss my torches. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Okay. Well, goodbye stuff. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know what? I should probably camp. We're like halfway done this dungeon. A spark without kindling. It's a goal without Let's try and, like, minimize some stress here. Well, it's probably fine. I don't think there's anything that just costs just one. The way 
Okay. So let's go up this way. Oh jeez, we need to reorganize our party. We're like all, all like messed up right now. There. Oh jeez, there's our last thing. I mean, we can probably keep exploring for a little bit. We might find some stuff. I can bail at like any time, so. No reason not to explore a little bit more. At this rate, I'm gonna have all my stress cure, <laughs> like, cleared off. I'm gonna leave this dungeon refreshed. It's like, wow. I felt like I needed a vacation before I entered this dungeon, but I'm just so refreshed. I could go to- I could go- I could go explore another ten dungeons. I'm so refreshed. Um... What's this middle thing? I don't remember ever seeing it before. Swine Slasher. Sounds like trouble. Oh, it's dead. You know, speaking of Halloween stuff, what is it? I'm suddenly reminded, like, looking at these pig guys, that, like, in our, like, town, like, we have, like, a monster in our town, like, it's part of, like, just stories of where I live, and one of the things is we have a pig man in the woods. He's, he's just, he's, like, pig, he's a pig man. And, like, he'll get you. That's, like, the whole story. <laughs> like, there's nothing more to it. I remember, I remember, like, being at summer camp, and we were in the woods, and they were telling us the story, and I remember at the time, I was like, oh no, that sounds not good. <laughs> I was moderately concerned. I wasn't afraid, but I was, like, moderately concerned. <laughs> Don't get gut. That is the rule of, like, the pigman of, uh, pigman of Truro. <laughs> he, like, lives in the park. That's, that's where he lives. Oh, don't get got. Never, never has there been better words to live by. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was like seven, so it was like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, we have a pig man. Hey, kid, what you up to? You've never heard the story of the pig man? He, like, he's in Victoria Park. He lives in, like, the trees, like... Yeah. That's, like, our local monster, is the pig man. I'm trying to think if we have another local monster. I feel like we do. Um... Hmm... All we have besides, like, the pig man is haunted houses, and we have, like, several of those. Like, don't ask me, like, where this, like, originated. I just, I was told this story as a kid. Uh, what am I looking at in the game right now? It's a, it's a, it's a dinner cart. Okay. Gross. Okay. We need medical herbs. And we'll get food from it. We don't have medical herbs, so... Shove our hands in and see what we get. <laughs> I know. It's it's our like non myth. We ha we have like several haunted house haunted houses and haunted buildings. Um we recently had like a, a building renovated and it was supposedly haunted. Or like we had a building that was re renovated into a library and um the new library, the building, it, well, the building it was renovated from was haunted, so I guess maybe the new library is haunted now. 
but it's probably it's only a good thing really because it's like the library is really nice if you're gonna be like a ghost haunting something that's a good place to haunt it's a really nice library Literally everybody I know that's seen that library has been like, this This library is too nice for this town. <laughs> it's too good. Um, what do I need for this? Oh, I need torches. Whatever. We'll just wing it. I want this. I probably don't need another invite through the Baron. So. You have a skunk ape? Okay, that's that's fair. Like I mean that's a pretty pretty standard like monster to have. So I guess that's good. Like, it's, at least it's not something wild like a pigman. Like, what do you do about a pigman? Like, what what is a pigman's weaknesses? See, that's the thing. It was, it was only seven at the time, so I don't remember a whole lot of the details. I just know that he lives in the woods. And, like, don't get got. <laughs> he gets ya. I know. Like, that is, that is the rules of pigman. No, he doesn't even... He does, oh, wait. Skewers. Skewers are a pigman's weakness? Okay. I could see that. Hmm. Actually, speaking of the haunted houses, was it, uh... There's this, like, gigantic house in the middle of Truro that, um is like haunted and it's for sale and me and a couple friends were walking by it a few weeks ago well it was probably yeah, it was august so it was like i guess two months ago now um walking by it and like this house is gigantic and like looking at it it's like i wonder if like for every person that lives in this house like if like the house expands for each per for each of its victims that it, like gets i think that's what happens because it was so huge it's such a big house and I love the fact that, like, it says for sale, and then, like, underneath in, like, uh, italic font, it says, it's haunted! So, it's, it's, it's a selling point. That's kind of amazing. Exactly. Each room is, <laughs> each room is just another corpse. It's such a weird, like, strangely shaped house, too. I wish I could find a picture of it. Uh huh. Okay, so apparently Vermont has a pigman too. What's his deal? Yeah, that sounds about right. Hmm. Wait, so I'm reading this. Sam sets out with eggs in his hand for what he called pick at night for a night of mischief. So this is just an invention of this person, this kid named Sam? Jeez. Oh wait, he's got egg houses. That's, I get it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Huh. Oh, Sam is the pig man. I see. Mysterious. Okay, well... Hmm. Ugh, are you kidding? Seven? Uh, at least I'm not gonna get infected. So weird. Oh, jeez. Wow, that was a lot of that was a lot of stress all at once. Um, get rid of that guy. Hmm. 
Gotta get rid of this mosquito somehow. Good. Who needs heals? Oh, wow. Actually, like, nobody needs heals. This is a weird game because, like, even though I've been upgrading things here and there, I don't. I can't necessarily say that these characters are, like, stronger than, like, a base level version of this character. Like, they're level, like, two? Two? But, like,. I don't feel like I've made them, like, exceptionally strong for being level 2. They just... I don't know if I'm just, like, getting better at the game and making smarter choices or what, but I feel like they're carrying themselves a little bit better. Ooh, wow. Blood. I need that. Oh, jeez, I gotta make room. Uh, goodbye stuff. What's this thing? Sacrificial stone. What do we do with the sacrificial stone? How do I spell sacrificial stone? There we go. Nothing. We just we just wing it. Just rub our hands all over the sacrificial stone. Oh. Okay, we got a positive cork out of it. You know what, it's probably a good time to bail, because I notice my abomination here is getting really stressed out. <laughs> He's like, it's dark. I don't like the dark. That's a... He can cure his own stress, so... Oh. He's gonna have to, because we're in another fight. <laughs> Ugh. God damn it, Skaz. You just want blood, because you know I just got some. You don't really want it. should have chained. That was maybe not the best choice. Um. Oh! Just a hold, just a dodge. Okay. Mm, bad choice. Mm. I have a feeling somebody's going to get infected on this one. Just work on this guy. Guess uh, we can do that. Ah, short. Ah, Crimson are such a pain in the ass. They both resist it. Uh-oh. This ain't good. <laughs> Man, I'm really curious about that DLC. I'll have to read up on it. Check into it, see what see what's what. Oh my god. There we go. Good. Get some traction in this one. Okay, so we're down to just one one of these, so a momentary abatement. <laughs> Damn it, Skaz, you're stressing everyone out. Cure just a tiny little bit of stress. There we go. Okay, that wasn't oh, jeez, more blood. Awesome. This expedition at least promises success. I have something, anything that's worth mm, less than 500 gold? Um, no. Such 
blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Eat our food. Last room. What do we got? No fight. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. These foodstuffs yield double benefit. The town may eat, and the swine will not. Oh man, we're serving the we're serving the pigmen. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> Ooh, level three. Got two characters up to level three. That's good. Uh oh. High roller got a love interest. Can only visit the brothel for stress relief. Steve got healer's gift, and Cassie got enlightened. Can only meditate and fast healer. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. Surrounding farms has Everything's cheap. By the spreading calamity. Okay, let's, like, cure some stress. Mm, everyone else is actually really good. We're kind of in great shape right now. Um, level one. I could probably hold out for like level two, maybe. I could build a performance hall, apparently. Oh, I only have one blueprint, I see. So, I gotta pick carefully. Yeah, I like them too, Landshark. They're really solid. <laughs> That's kind of a cute reference. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much... Good, I think we can just jump into another another thing here. Um and I think right now we could do I have a healer at level three available? We do not, because we're healing him. Hmm. Shoot. Well, I guess we can still do <laughs> we can still do more low level quests. This is kind of the thing with uh ooh. There's apparently a boss here. I do need to fight bosses. Okay, let's fight this boss. So, let's make a team. Um, hmm. We could do... For that, um, and this, just good for abilities. Um, hmm, okay, okay. Um, trying to think of what type of team I can piece together here. I'm like looking at this and like eh, I don't know. I don't know about this. Everyone else is kind of too high level to bother right now. Um, let's see. Can we upgrade some of the characters here? Let's do that up.
Hmm, that's it, huh? Ah, I wish we could be using higher level characters, but we really need to just get a healer leveled up right now. It's better probably to play it safe right now. So what do we get for abilities? Ah, uh, this is all good, I guess. Maybe something related to bleeding, because uh, headmasters tend to focus on that. Um... Okay, that's probably good. Okay, so who is our team going to be? Let's see. Okay, we already have Cooge in there. Saw him already had a run, so there you go, Heed. Um, there we go, and Shark. And who else we got in the chat? Hmm. Okay, here we go. You are a uh, man at arms. Congratulations, Keith. You get hit by things and then hit them back. <laughs> that is that is like your thing. You you tank. You tank hard. <laughs> Okay, um, and torches. This is a medium-sized dungeon, so probably a good idea to have a few. Um, yeah, this is good. Let's go. My zeal for blood rituals and summoning rites had begun to ebb, as each attempt invariably brought only failure and disappointment. Progress was halting, and the rapidly accumulating surplus of wasted flesh had become... Burdensome. The thing is more terrible than I can describe. An incoherent jumble of organ, sinew, and bone. <laughs> the scrawlings on this, like, flesh mat are uninteresting to me. Okay, um, let's see. I guess we can do that. Uh, maybe cause a bleed on all of them. That'd be great. Okay. Ah, probably should chop the one that wasn't bleeding. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, probably a good idea to smack that. Luckily, these, like, maggots don't really do a whole lot. Huh, they can apparently stun. I didn't know that. <laughs> Executed with impunity. Here we go. Easy. <laughs> I like how sometimes, like, characters, they will, uh, when they have, uh, the Crimson Curse, sometimes they'll be like, no, you can't move me, I have the bloodlust. But, or, I won't swap with this person, but if you have them, like, if I try and swap Keed with, uh, Cooch here, like, Cooch will be like, no, I'm, I'm Crimson Curse, I get the bloodlust, I, 
I will only fight in front row, but if I switch uh, Cooge with Keed, it'll work. Because it's, it's their choice, I guess. <laughs> Hmm. All right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I figured you'd appreciate that. Hmm. There we go. Ah, miss. That's unfortunate. Uh oh, that's not good. Mm, stop gathering blood. Oof. Ah, oh, jeez. Like. Please, don't give, don't give my characters the Crimson Curse. <laughs> I've had enough of the Crimson Curse lately. Should probably heal my team, but ah, uh, yeah, let's do it. Took a moment for them to explode, apparently. They can be beaten. Open that with a key. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now Throw these rocks back in this chest. There you go. Have some rocks. Okay, so where's this boss gonna be at? I wanna believe maybe this spot over here. Just to the left of where I'm currently at. Oops. Keep on moving. Ooh, a crate. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. <laughs> oh, Keith's all about those bones. Just immediately knock them over. You'll very rarely hear me say, like, good when it comes to maggots and spiders, but, like, they're really tame enemies in this game, so... Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Like, surprisingly tame in this game. <laughs> Just backhand that spider. <laughs> Damnation! Oh, relatively um, low key so far. Oh, surprise attack! That's always good. Oh, not so good when you just miss. Another 
Ooh, nice. Tearing it up. Hmm, in hindsight, that might not have been a good idea. I know! Lepers are kind of amazing in this game. Hmm, what do I want to do here? Sure, we'll just we'll just smash these corpses. As one does. Keith's like, no. <laughs> just covers covers his ears with the shield. I may have overpacked for this dungeon. We should definitely unmake this, whatever this thing is. Because I'm pretty sure this wasn't the intention. Um. Huh. <laughs> Where do I start? <laughs> okay, so these things heal. Don't know what that thing does. So I think we need to we need to defeat this thing's humps. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> the mold is like making gnawing sounds of the you know. All these molds making gnawing sounds is like completely normal. Mons of life. How are they for bleed resistance? They got like no bleed resistance. Perfect. I know, right? Okay, so this thing stuns us. Oh. I see. <laughs> Okay, you don't want that. <laughs> it, it really is. Oh my god. So it looks like we want to hit this part, because this part seems to be soft and squishy. Like the weird butt eels, were those necessary? Uh oh, now there's no soft squishy part. <laughs> huh. Oof. A little bit low on health, but... Gains purchase. Spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. <laughs> Oof. 
I really don't like those. The amount of damage they do is really high. Um, party heal would be probably a good idea. I've never actually used party heal with my uh, Vestal. Oh, there we go. This is probably good. <laughs> well, as good as it can get when, when this is what you're facing. <laughs> Ooh, 14. Oof, that really hurt. That's bad. Let's see if we can get bleed. Oh, jeez, wow. That's unfortunate. Okay, so... Ugh. So our healer got uh, put on death's door, which is basically when your HP hits zero. You don't die when your HP hits zero. You actually can survive uh, several hits, but there's always a chance you'll be like perma killed. Um, and then the blight that she had uh, did her in. So that's unfortunate. That's why the status effects can be really good because they can kill for us. Um, ugh, not quite enough. There. There we go. Nice. Oof. Okay. A victory, nonetheless. Um, where should I put this? Um, I guess over this. Okay. Uh, I guess we're good. Um, don't want to continue adventuring. I don't have a healer at this point, which means it's a little bit. Oh. I guess, never mind, I just clicked it anyways. Um, Houndmaster is kind of, it's kind of like a mixed support class. It's okay dealing damage, but yeah. Um, doing bleed is pretty good. Um, Houndmaster is kind of good at, like, at least from the way I play Houndmaster, it's pretty good at two things. It's good at, like, setting, like, giving bleed to all the enemies, but then on the other end, you can also recover stress from all your characters, but I wasn't doing that very often in this dungeon, because uh, nobody was really stressed, oddly enough. So... At least they weren't stressed any amount. Yeah, yeah. That's that's pretty much what I was getting at, too, High Roller. Uh, I, I generally like Houndmaster, though. Like, I think it's a pretty good class. It's, it's a very solid support class. Especially for, like, um, teams that might be prone to being, you know, having a lot of sanity damage. Or stress damage. So. Hey, two bosses done tonight. That was pretty good. Um, let's see. 